Thank you so much, Dante. Shri Krishna Thank you all so much for being here. I'm uh, speaking to you all um, on uh, Duwamish territory, Coast territory here in Seattle. Um, and I uh, wanted to give you an uh, update. Um, so there's been a lot going on, as you can imagine, as has been going on for everyone. Um, and uh, one of the things that particularly came up for me this, you know, in this last year with, the, with, the, with these pandemics is um, uh, I decided to, to focus on helping people who were sick, who, because of their identities, um, were not sure that, that they were going to survive it, even if they went to a hospital, right? Like if you are indigenous, if you are trans, if you are disabled, um, you know, if you are, you know, black, if you are uh, so many different uh, marginalized identities, even if you go to a hospital, there's, there's, you know, there is no guarantee that you're going to be helped, um, even if you have health care. And uh, that came up uh, multiple times uh, with multiple different people uh, in our community. And so um, I, uh, in so many ways, you know, dedicated myself to trying to, you know, help them because they didn't want to go to a hospital because they didn't think that they would come out alive. That was how serious the situation was. And, you know, this pandemic has created these types of stresses and these types of uh, disasters. And so, um, you know, in uh, supporting, you know, those people, uh, I was trying to help them with what natural medicine I knew from, uh, from years of reading and also from uh, my own people, you know, thousands of years of our uh, 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 history. And those were things that I tried to uh, help people with. And this is where documenting things came into play because because of security culture, I couldn't just say, oh, you know, I'm helping this person, or I'm helping this person because, you know, we didn't want a situation of them disappearing. Uh, and, and yet again, like the triple pandemics of racism, of cops, of climate change, of COVID, of all of these different scenarios and the fact that we've got people who are sick, who desperately need help, but don't feel confident about going to find help in these uh, traditional places and what do we do in those situations? Um, that's why some of those questions uh, that, uh, that uh, we just talked about are so important. So one of the things you know, that we did was, okay, how do we create a space uh, in this house where this person can just you know, be sick, but also get food, get water, get everything that they need, get uh, 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 natural medicines and be able to document what is happening to them so that we can share it with other people who are in similar circumstances so that they you know, have what they need to also help them. That was one of the things that I've been working on this year. Another thing I've been working on is supporting uh, my own community around uh, Hindu phobia. There's been a lot of Hindu phobic trauma this year. There, I mean, there's always a lot of Hindu phobic trauma, but this year in particular, it was extremely, um, it was extremely in our face. And there were a lot of Hindu youth. There were a lot of uh, Hindu women in particular who were feeling the violence. And there were a lot of people who are Hindu who have, uh, uh, assimilated into Hindu phobia who were trying to decolonize themselves. And so, you know, I was doing a lot of uh, supporting people uh, around that mentoring, counseling, uh, putting out resources, uh, uh, educating people. I had one particular instance where um, a, a Hindu man who had been so assimilated into Hindu phobia that he didn't want to identify as Hindu at all. Um, he came to me and he said that uh, these, uh, these podcasts uh, that you've been putting out helped me so much that I was able to, for the first time in my life, actually talk to my own father about who we are and uh, ask him questions that I never asked him before because I didn't know which questions to ask and I also didn't want to ask because I didn't want to know the answers. And that led to this whole conversation within the entire family about how to decolonize themselves. Um, so that's one particular you know, thing that I've also been working on. 
Uh, I've also been working on uh, putting out uh, educational resources around child abuse. And this is a particular thing within our social justice movement that we don't really um, identify as a system of uh, oppression, even though it clearly is. So that's one of the things that I've been doing. And there are so many challenges around that because, you know, the far right have like taken this issue and made it their own. And the problem with that is that they've been able to do that because we haven't been in that conversation. So for us to be there and challenge that as well as center survivors is something that I've been working on among so many other things. And I'm out of time, I think. So I'm going to hand it back. Uh, to Dante, but thank you all so much. There's so much work that is going on and I thank you all.